Alright everybody, so welcome to Basic Flight. My name's Rob and I'm your 107 Certified Pilot in Command. Today we'll be flying the Mavic 2 Pro and I'm going to teach you guys the basics of flight. So the drone's already fired up. We already have all these screens fired up here. I do want to tell you guys we got about a 15 mile per hour sustained wind today with about 30 mile per hour gusts. Might be settling down here a little bit. The, the Mavic is pretty impressive in the wind so I just want to let you guys know that. So we've already been through the pre-flight checklist so we're not going to go into that. This is flight basics. So right now, um, let's look at the screen here. This is normally what's going to pop up before you fly. So you want to go through here, especially your compass. You want to make sure everything looks okay on this screen here. And you want to make sure, uh, you want to make sure right up here it says green, ready to fly, GPS, okay? As long as it says that, you're pretty much good to go. So let's go into the basic functionality of this drone. When, when you're ready to fly, the first thing you're going to want to do is the sticks here to engage the motors. You move both the sticks down and in. And if you look over on the drone now, you can see that the uh, blades are spinning. So the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure we record this session. So the way you turn on the video camera is this button here on the left. Press that in. And you should see the indicator right now that it's recording okay so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take off so the left stick if you press up on the left stick that gives you your altitude so let's pop this up here at about 10 feet okay so pressing up on the stick and now we're about 10 foot up and let's move away from the building here a little so on this left stick so this controller is up and down basically, you press up, it goes up, you press down, it goes down. Now, going left to right on this stick is your yaw. So your yaw is basically spinning in one place. So we're going to yaw to the left, and then the drone's going to spin in one place all the way around. Alright, that's what happens when you press the stick to the left. Same thing, we're going to press the stick to the right and it's going to yaw to the right and the longer you you know hold that to the right the longer it'll spin it'll just continue to go round and round and round okay so that is what your left stick does now the right stick is pitch and roll so let's go over pitching and rolling so pitching is basically the same thing as moving forward so if you press the stick forward the drone moves forward okay pretty simple you can just let go on that if uh, if anything's going on if you freak out in the middle of the flight you can just let go of that stick the drone will kind of stop itself and hover in one place you can put the con the whole controller down and the drone's gonna be just fine so let's pick it back up let's go back over to the right stick here and let's press backwards or down and that will bring the drone backwards so pressing down drone comes back towards us okay now rolling that's moving this controller to the right or to the left so if we roll to the left we're pressing left and the drone's gonna go straight over to the left and let it go the drone will stabilize itself it'll hover and now we're gonna roll to the right so we're gonna take this stick and we're gonna move it right and it's gonna roll to the right so let's go over to the other buttons on this controller here. This button is your return to home button. So if you lose line of sight or if you know anything happens weird during your flight, you can press the return to home and it'll bring you home. The only thing is it's going to return the drone to its home point. So you might want to click on this GPS here and the H, the home point, is where it's going to fly itself back to. Let's stick on this menu for a little bit. Let's fly the drone about 100 feet away. Let me get in some altitude here. Let's get us up to, I don't know, 100 feet or so. Here's your height right there, 100 feet. And let's fly away. 
flying away, flying away, and you can see this path right here on the drone, right? So that's this indicator here is where the drone is. This indicator here is where you are. And if you hit that return to home button, that's where it'll bring you back to. Take notice of the indicators on the screen right now. At the very top, it says strong wind, fly with caution. And then in red, high wind velocity, fly with caution. Remember, I told you guys earlier, we had 15 mile per hour winds and 30 mile per hour gusts. Those wind and gusts are gonna be higher uh, or more dangerous as you gain altitude. So it's even more windy up there. So let's click back to our main screen here. Okay, so right now the drone is 209 feet away from us. It's 109 feet high and it's not moving uh, because right now we're just in a hover. Okay, and so let's turn this around. Oh, let's get into the camera function a little bit. So how, how you pitch the camera um, 90 degrees is this knob right here at the top. And I'll show you the screen here. I'm just going to point the knob. Or, uh, I'm going to put pressure on it to the left. And that's going to bring the camera facing down. And it'll bring it 90 degrees down. Right? And then so if you take the knob and you press it to the right, it rotates the camera back up. So that's how you do that. I'm going to lose some altitude and continue to teach because... Um, there's birds flying around right now and these birds will engage your drone both small birds and large birds actually i think seagulls are the most dangerous birds they will aggressively engage you and they will cause you to crash so because i live on the water here i want to drop some altitude so looking on the screen pay attention to the h that's your height so we're at 88 feet 80 70 we still have some trees to worry about here and now so this is actually my property here. This dark area is the doorway to my barn. That's where I'm sitting at. So let's fly it over to us so we can all say hi and meet each other. And so right now, look at the controls. I'm, I'm pressing forward on the, um, on the, not the roll, on the pitch. So I'm pitching us forward. And that's how I'm coming back to us. All right, let's look at this screen. So now let's drop some altitude down on the left stick. All right. And now we're about... Um, now, I was flying in sport mode, okay? Uh, just because you have way more power in sport mode and allows me to deal with the wind better. However, in sport mode, none of your sensors are on. Let's put it back into position mode on the side here. Okay, and now your sensors are on. So as we start to fly towards the barn, you're gonna notice sensor warnings, basically proximity warnings, how far you are away from that structure, and it also will not let you hit the structure. So let's test out that theory. So coming in, I think about 20 feet away is when the sensors will start going off. Okay. There we go. So there's the sensor. I want to reposition it a little bit better here. Okay, so let's talk about what's going on. The sensor is indicating that something's in front of you. That's why the mark is at the top of the screen. It's saying that it's 22 foot away. So let's continue to try to come towards us here. All right, you'll see it 22 feet, 19 feet, 18 feet. Watch this, eventually it will not let you move any forward. So I'm gonna press totally forward on this controller. Totally forward. The drone will not let you move forward to hit the object, so that's pretty awesome. So now, let's fly backwards here. And let's see how the same thing functions in reverse. So I'm going to yaw us 90 degrees. I'm gonna hit this left stick 90 degrees. So the camera is facing away from us, like that. And now I'm going to try to back us right to the same structure. Let's see what happens. Okay, same thing. So you got those same marks now on the bottom side of the controller, saying we're 15 feet away. Let's see how close we can get. 
Okay, so right there, seven foot away, I'm all the way back on the stick, all the way back. It will not let the drone hit the structure. So that's pretty awesome. Now watch this, if we turn it back around and we put it now into sport mode, watch what happens this time. Come up to this structure, no sensors, nothing, 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 okay? You can just fly and crash right into the building. So when you're in sport mode, um, you have absolutely no protection from the sensors, but you get super awesome flight like this. It's fast. Whoa, and I see a bird I almost hit just right there. So we're gonna do a big circle right now. So in order to do a circle, you have to roll and yaw at the same time. If you don't roll and yaw at the same time, you'll never make a complete circle. So let's do that. Yawing and rolling, if you can see my sticks. Okay, I'm paying attention to the drone here. So hopefully you can see my sticks. And you'll see the drone made a complete circle. And now it's heading back to us. Okay. And so I'm going to stop it right there for a minute. Let's look at our screen. Look at that on the GPS. You can see that big circle we did. So it tracks all that stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, going back to this screen. So right now we're 212 foot away. We're 187 feet high. We have all of our strong wind warnings going off there. And keep in mind, guys, the FAA does not allow you to fly any more than 400 foot in altitude. And you're not allowed to fly out of your line of sight. So you can't do that. Oh, and something just happened here. Let me uh, drop altitude here. I got some kind of a ping, not sure what that was. I can see the drone pitching over to the left right now, and that's the drone trying to counter the wind. So the drone will kind of angle itself however it needs to to deal with the wind. Let's bring it in here, and I'm going to show you some features on the landing. So now I'm just kind of slowly coming towards us, dropping some altitude. And I want to make sure we are in position mode again. So I'm going to switch this over to P. There we go. Positioning mode. Now, when you go to land, the drone, if you press all the way down on the left stick, the drone will not, you just, it won't let you crash into the ground. It scans the ground, makes sure that it's safe, and lands slowly. So check this out. Let me show this to you guys. Now let's take the camera and let's face it downwards. So we're going to look right below us, straight down there. We're going to look at the surface. We're going to see if it's safe. It's all grassy. Let's try to get into kind of a rockier spot here. So I'm going to come down. And I'm going to come forward a little bit. And we're going to shoot for this rockier spot. That you can now see on the camera. And... That looks like a good landing spot to me. Let's start to bring it down. Okay. That sensor is picking up what's in front of us, not the ground. So let me yaw it to the side so we'll get rid of that sensor. Okay, so now the sensor's all the way off. Now I'm going to go on this left stick and I'm going to push it all the way down, fully down. But watch what happens with the drone. So it kind of stops, it scans, and it does a safe controlled landing. If you hold that button down, the engines will turn off. So um, if you ever had to, if you ever wanted to manually shut the engines off, let's go over that real quick. So to turn the engines on, you press the sticks down and in. That turns the engines on. Now if you want to manually turn the engines off, you take the sticks and you go down and out. And that turns your engines off. The only other things we didn't cover here is... Okay, so I'm going to stop recording. So you can see on the screen here how it's counting. That means we're recording. I'm going to press this button here. We are no longer recording. Now this button up here is if you want to take still photos. So you just hit that every single time you want to snap a photo, and that's what that does. This button, or this uh, knob here, this controls 
I'm not a camera specialist. I think it's the shutter. Basically, if you're looking at the image on the screen, let's just do it. If it's too bright or too dark, see that? So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm rolling this to the left and you can see the screen's getting darker. Now I'm gonna roll it to the right. See this, rolling it to the right and the screen gets lighter. So let's shoot it back up here for a minute. Just so you can see what I'm talking about. So you can see right now how the image is way too bright, right? Way too bright. So we just press left on that knob. Oh, and look at that, it's pretty. Okay, if you press it too much though, too dark, right? So it's important to know what that knob does. So now we're gonna land again. I'm pressing all the way down on the left stick right now, all the way down. It's gonna slow itself down to make a nice controlled landing. Yes. Okay, so that concludes today's lesson of basic flight using the Mavic 2 Pro. I hope you like the module. We already went over uh, the pre-flight checklist. Now we've gone over basic flight. We're gonna get into advanced flying. That's gonna be a fun one. And another couple modules too, talking about what we recommend for the contractor. Guys, this is all with really the contractor in mind. And so we'll go into recommendations on what I think you guys should buy and why. And so I hope you thought this was a valuable module. If you guys have any other suggestions, if we didn't hit anything else you wanted to hear about, uh, feel free to either email me or leave it in the comment section below. We'll be sure to add it to the video and get you guys a new one. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned to the next episode. You're really going to like it. It's sport mode time, baby. Catch you on the next episode.